Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a sun floating in deep space from scratch. This is an update of a tutorial I did many years ago on an earlier version of Photoshop. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to Blue Lightning TV, hit that small subscribe button at the lower right corner. If my tutorials have helped you learn or improve in Photoshop, I'd like to ask you to help support my channel by becoming a channel member or by becoming my patron. To become a channel member, click the Join button below the video or click the Patreon card at the upper right corner. Create a new document by going to File and New. Make the width 1920 pixels, the height 1080 pixels, and the resolution 72 pixels per inch. The color mode is RGB and 8 bits per channel. If the background isn't black, click it and pick black. On this black background, we'll create a field of stars. First, check your foreground and background colors. If they are not black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Go to Filter, Noise, and add noise. Make the amount 100%, Gaussian, and monochromatic. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 0.3 pixels. Open your Levels window by pressing Ctrl or Command L. Make the input shadow 190, the input highlight 240, and the output highlight 100. The stars will look very faint, but they'll brighten up once we add clouds and color. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Change its Blend Mode to Color Dodge. We'll make a new layer under the Clouds layer by Control clicking or Command clicking the New Layer icon. Open your Brush Tool and Brush Picker. We'll adjust the size in a moment. Its hardness is 0%, the opacity is 10%, and the flow is 100%. Click the foreground color to open the color picker. Pick a bright color other than red or orange. To make your brush bigger or smaller, make sure your caps lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Make it approximately this size and gently brush over the stars. Click your foreground color again and pick another bright color other than red or orange. Click the foreground color one more time and pick a third bright color. Next, We'll create the sun. Go to File and New. Make the width and height 2500 pixels each. Press D to make your foreground and background colors black and white respectively. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Go back to Filter, Render, and Difference Clouds. Repeat the last filter by pressing Alt-Ctrl-F on Windows or Option-Command-F on a Mac. Go to Filter, Distort, and Spherize. The amount is 100%. Spherize it again by repeating the last filter. 
Open your elliptical marquee tool and place your cursor slightly inside the corner. Press and hold Shift as you drag the tool to a location slightly inside the opposite corner. Go to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it 3 pixels. To place it onto our star background, open your Move tool by pressing V on your keyboard and drag it onto the tab of your star document. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. Go to the Sun layer and drag it to the top of the Layers panel. Position the Sun to a corner. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Color Lookup. Click Load 3D LUT. LUT is an abbreviation of Lookup Tables. These preset filters change original colors in your image by remapping them to different specific colors to create certain looks. Click Edge Amber dot 3 dl Go back to the Adjustment Layer icon again and we'll add another Color Lookup Adjustment Layer. This time, click Crisp Warm Look. Next, we'll bring back the original colors of our star field by restricting the Color Lookup Adjustment Layers to affect only the Sun. It's important to understand that Adjustment Layers affect all the layers below them in the Layers panel unless they're clipped to the one layer beneath them. To do this, press alt Control g on Windows or option command g on a Mac to make the Active Adjustment Layer into a Clipping Mask. You can also go to Layer and Create Clipping Mask. Make the other Adjustment Layer active and make it into a clipping mask as well. Now, both adjustment layers are affecting just the sun and not our stars. Next, we'll brighten the midtones and shadows of our sun. Click the adjustment layer icon and this time click Levels. Drag it below the bottom color lookup layer. If the bottom of the layers panel is hidden, just drag it down. Go to the Output Shadow Levels slider and drag it to 78 or just type it in. Next, we'll add inner and outer glows. Double click the Sun layer to open its layer style window. Click Outer Glow. Click the color box and in the hexadecimal field, type in FFC9. Three, zero. The Blend Mode is Color Dodge. The Opacity is 80%. The Spread is 0. And the Size is 250 pixels. The Contour is Linear. And the Range is 50%. Click Inner Glow. Click the Color Box and type in the same color that you typed in for the Outer Glow. The Blend Mode is Hard Light, the Opacity is 100%, and the Source is Edge. The Choke is 0%, and the Size is 80 pixels. The Contour is Linear, and the Range is 50%. Next, we'll add bright flares around the rim of the Sun. Scroll to the bottom of the Layers panel, and make Layer 2 active. This is the layer that we brushed in color over the stars. Open your Brush Tool and Brush Picker. Make the size 175 pixels. The Hardness remains 0% and the Opacity remains 10%. Click the foreground color and type in FFEA3F. Brush once over the edge of the sun. If you want to intensify the sun's flare, scroll to the top of the Layers panel. Make the top adjustment layer active and release the clipping mask by pressing Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows or Command-Option-G on a Mac or go to Layer and Release Clipping Mask.
make the other color lookup adjustment layer active and release its clipping mask as well. With your brush tool still active, make sure the opacity and flow are 100%. Make your brush bigger and brush over the stars. Make sure you avoid the sun's rim. We'll replace the empty layer mask at the top with the bottom layer mask. To do this, go to the bottom layer mask and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag the copy over the top layer mask. If you see this message, just click Yes. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.